be an author, uh, but on Skype. She's the author of the AOA books. There will be four books next week. I just got, and recently she sent me a few of her books. She also sent me the fourth one a, few, a week early. And even though it looks like there will be three books, on this book, this is number one, but when you flip it over, it's number two. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, just so you know, very soon I'll be doing my reviews on the A Facebooks. She loves science, I love science. And most of them are pretty cool. And on the back, at the very end, there's things behind the science so you can learn about about picking locks, escape rooms, and like in this one, it has picking locks, escape room at the end, and it, it also has things about wagers. I also was very, I also was very nerdy, nerdy, nervous, nervous, and as you can tell, I have a rubber shirt with Nicholas that I like to chew on when I get nervous. Thanks for watching and keep reading. Now, and stay tuned to watch my in interview with, with uh, Emily Callan Crest. Emily Callen's really. Hi. Say hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Thanks for setting this up. I appreciate it. When did you first think of making your book? Well, so a little bit about me. I am an engineer. So I studied mechanical and aerospace engineering in college. Um, mm -hmm. And then I even went further than college and I went to grad school and I studied aerospace engineering in grad school. So I studied a lot of engineering for about eight years. It feels like a very long time. And so when I was a kid, when I was your age, I liked science and math. But for me, there weren't a lot of books about sci-fi. You said you like sci-fi, you said you like science type books. There weren't a lot of books like that that had girls as the main character. And because I was a girl, um, I liked, I wanted a book with a girl as the main character. So I made Ada Lace because I wanted to create a book that I would have loved when I was your age. Do you have a pet turtle since Ada Lace has... I did have, I had pet turtles in college. I had two pet turtles. Yeah, I, uh, I loved them. They were, they were kind of a handful. Uh, and I had to ultimately get rid of them because they, they lived a long time and are too hard to take care of. But yeah, I did have pet turtles when I was younger. Yeah, and their names were Oxygen and Hydrogen, right? Mine were different. Uh, I did name them after aerospace terms, but now the names are escaping me. They're, they're, they were very nerdy names, but I can't remember the names of them. They're named after um, airplane maneuvers. And I can't remember what I called them. Lift to drag. That, that would those are very those would be better names. Yeah, let's say that I need them lift and drag. <laughs> Who is is Lace based off of? Well, her name is um, based off of Ada Lovelace, who is a woman from many many years ago, who some people believe is the first computer programmer in history. So Ada Lovelace. Uh, is a real person, and she was a real mathematician. Um, and I wanted to name the character after someone important, like her. What What made you want to go to school for so long? Wow, that's a really good question. I think I really liked learning about math and science, and I wanted to make sure that I learned as much as I could before I started a job. And when I went to college, um, four or five years wasn't enough. I really wanted to learn more. And because I wasn't done learning, um, I kept going to school. So I also wanted to live in a different place. I lived in West Virginia. I'm from West Virginia. But I wanted to live in a different city for a little bit, to meet new people and, and explore a new town. And so I went to grad school in a city called Boston. Boston's really a fun city, so I wanted to go to two different places for schools. When is the next book coming out? 
Oh, so that's the one that you have, that fourth book, the red one. That one doesn't come out until next week. So you got it before any of the other kids in America got it. No, the fifth book. (laughs) The fifth book. The fifth book comes out in February. So the fifth book is uh, the most recent one we wrote. And yeah, that'll come in February of next year. What do you do now? Well, so I told you that I studied to be an engineer, right? Well, Mm -hmm. after I left college, um, I really wanted to share my love of science and space exploration with other people. So I became a TV show host um, about a space show. So every Saturday morning, you can see my show. It's on your local Fox channel, and it's called Exploration Outer Space. And with my show, I travel all around the country, sometimes even other countries, and cover everything from rockets and aliens and spaceships on Mars and astronauts and everything in between. It's a really, really fun show, and it's meant for kids like you. Thanks, Jackson. Bye. Bye. It was so nice to meet you, and we'll be looking for your show. Yeah, I'll check out your YouTube channel again. All right. Bye. Bye. I love that you do all these book reviews. That's so cool.